get off my butte. <laughs> Go and get off my butte. I mean, to get these suckers out, we definitely have to pull a Paul Bunyan. But, uh, I mean, ooh, Andrew's going to be pissed. <laughs> ooh, Andrew couldn't be jealous. All right, guys and gals. I just have to know. Is anyone else been in the situation where you've been on your way to make a bad decision and you know it's a bad decision, but you do it anyway? That's that's the story of my car hoarding. A buddy of mine called me up, found a car, not, not, not anything I was necessarily looking for. Hey man, got this thing, it's super cheap. I blacked out. I said yes. So, <laughs> committed to buy a car without even seeing it. But it was super cheap, so I don't know. We'll see. And it was literally two exits down from me uh, in the area I grew up in, so I knew exactly where this car was at. I actually had seen it before and never really thought twice about it, but whatever. You know, sometimes uh, you just got to treat yourself with an old car. I don't know. Well, stick around and see what this thing actually looks like, and let's see what it actually is because. The year they told me it was, I looked it up, and it doesn't match the pictures I found online. So, uh, I'm buying something I don't even really know what it is. But hey, that's half the fun of this stuff. So, stick around. So here it is. And it's a resting place for, geez, how long? What's the last tag on this guy? What do we got here? 2013, last time it was tagged. Malibu Classic. Oh man. <laughs> It doesn't get more late 70s, early 80s than this. Vent windows. Oh, yeah. Check this guy out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vintage. So, honestly, don't even know what year it is. They told me it was a 79, but... Round headlight, that's that's earlier than 79. Look, see it says Chevelle. <laughs> so neat. Looks to be a little Hello fellas. Little 350. Pretty sweet. And let's see what it takes to drag this guy out of here. So this is what we came up with. Got my buddy Austin here. He's the one that scouted this deal out for us. We have about 300 feet of ratchet straps to the good old Dodge. So what do you think, it's gonna work? I mean, I reckon it's gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> What's your bet whether it'll roll or not? <laughs> I didn't even wanna say that before we started trying, but you know, I think it's gonna roll. I think, you know, I think it's gonna go. Did we check and see if it has keys? <laughs> Before we get too crazy here. Oh no, we better find the key for it. No key. Because there's, there's a steering wheel lock on these. Yeah, let me uh, let me grab Lee and ask for the key for this thing. Yeah, lock steering wheel. We huh, might be at a little standstill on this one. All right, here we are. I'll load it up. Strapped up, door. Well, I'll have to work on that. Make sure there's no cats in here. Yeah, cool. Back to the shop. We'll see if we tinker with this thing today or another day, but for now, we got it secured and it's time to make our way. Ooh, spiders, get you. All right, so just went and picked another car up, one we didn't need. And the guy that owned it was like, hey, I've got three more cars over at my other property. Go take a look at them. And uh, he told me what they, yep, he wasn't kidding. Check this out. Oh, look at this nice one. We're not looking at the Honda. <laughs> Honestly, if it was a little less rusty, I'd be claiming that oh the honda's neat but this is but this is where it's at right here this is my speed uh-huh i mean come on look at the dialing on this guy got the old bullet lights Jeez. and stuff oh it's so cool. now this did recently happen yeah unfortunately that was this year but 
Check this old girl out. Navigate through all these branches. Okay, oh, yeah, I also have a, a Disco Nova. But, let me get through here. So, if wonderful people of YouTube know what we're looking at here, 1958 Buick. This is a special, which I think means it's a base model, but it is what it is. Look how neat this thing is. Let me get through over here in the snake's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a car. Now, luckily enough, the owners, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's blocks under the cars. They kept them up off of the ground, which I know sounds crazy to some people, but you know, the closer, whoop, whoop, the closer to the ground, the higher the likelihood of getting moisture and rust and whatnot. Let's see. That looks like it's been open. Yeah. I think somebody's been nosing around in these. Yeah. She's an auto. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a crew cab, but it is what it is. Like it's a '58 Buick in the wild. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than this. Get, get off my Buick. <laughs> Go and get off my Buick. I mean, to get these suckers out, we definitely have to pull a Paul Bunyan. But uh, I mean. I'm down for this kind of styling. Woo, Andrew's gonna be pissed. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's gonna be jealous. Yeah, That's so. What he got. <laughs> you know, the Honda. Yeah, the Honda. Yeah, Andrew can have the Honda. So, this thing obviously is my speed. Austin loves it. I love all of these two, I can't lie. I love these, but I was never a huge, you know, first gen trailer guy, but they're just cool old Hondas. You know, but, we got the we got cool door handles and stuff like that. And unfortunately, this, one, this one's got some... Yeah, she's, she's, that's just a part of it. Yeah, there's a lot of rust. Oh, wow, this whole door. Yeah. And that's just, you can see down here, all the rockers are smoked. The doors are smoked. It'd be a great parts car for someone that needed moldings yeah. or trim or what. Ideally, this thing will get put out there for someone else to pick up and save their car, you know, right. and use the hood or some the grill. Like, yeah. where are you going to find it? Well, it's broken. It's not even intact on this. So, well, that's just the outside. No, that's the outside. The grill's still good. Like, this trim on the hood. Yeah. I'm sure somebody out there needs this. Somebody their... needs this hood. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're all about saving them. Now, we do have to remain somewhat realistic about we can't save them all, but... You know, maybe we give this guy a chance, put him on marketplace for a while, let people pick them over, let somebody take them. You know, maybe back in California, yeah, they might be more of a following. So. Someone out there might see this as something that they can use and and see the value in it to either rebuild it or use it to rebuild theirs. Is the owner's manual still in the passenger seat? Oh my God, that is the owner's manual. <laughs> <laughs> no shortage of rat poops. No shortage here. But. Enough with the Honda. <laughs> Check out this typewriter grill, dude. Yeah. I just... There's two levers. This is weird. Yeah, let's uh let's get that branch off. It's probably holding it up. Well, actually it's going. <laughs> yeah, still got the nail head. Dang. 364 cubic inches of American torque. Heck yeah. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. It isn't ours yet, but by golly, we're going to try to make yeah. a deal. <laughs> we definitely are in position to make a deal on it, so. Because this thing is so cool. Like the viewers on this channel know, big Buick guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been watching, you know... We like the Buicks. You know what about that Buick lot? We'll let that just kind of yeah. force on nothing too much, but no. pretty, it's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. It is a four-door, not the most desirable model, but like I said, it is what it is. Like this thing with, you take the coal springs, you throw them away, you replace them with airbags. 
<laughs> and now you're riding we on the ground. We got a cruiser. <laughs> so this is this is neat. We're gonna try to make a deal. Like I said, we just made a deal on another 75 Chevelle Malibu classic situation. So let's see if we can make a deal on this one. It's been it's yeah, she's had a little side swiper, a little whammy action. But you know, hey, if the price is right. We'll whop that thing back out with a rubber mallet and go cruising. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm not afraid of a good time. I'm just glad it looks like all the glass survived the tree. Yeah, yeah, it does. The Hopefully. Nova, the Nova, unfortunately, looks like it got the roof and the windshield, which is a mega bummer. But yeah. The, but the 58 looks like it got the least of it. I mean, I could tell you which one I was rooting for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I just wanted to make sure you caught the beauty. <laughs> The rest of them can go wherever. I did kind of want the Nova, but now that it needs freaking roof work and a windshield, I'm not so uh, quick to jump on it. But we'll drag it out of here and let someone else save that too. This is just the cool stuff for me. These fins and man, things. so cool. I was thinking, I was thinking the tail I opened for the fuel because my dad has a '57 Oldsmobile. Uh, it looks and like that other one's a split piece. Maybe it. <laughs> right, I do some more research before we go grabbing on anything too hard, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Fuel's like in the middle. Fuel door, yep. Dude, look at the tag. Oh my god! All right, so check this out. Oh, let me get these holly bushes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna. All right, back to our regular schedule programming here. So I'm a big tag guy, Georgia tag guy. Ten, so it's hard to see. One zero ten. That's Hall County. Nineteen sixty nine. Wow. Still got the last tag on it. That's insane. That is so cool. I mean, it's rough. Like it. Yeah, she's in bad shape. It's floppy. There's no sugar coat in this one, but I mean, <laughs> to find these today. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sweet. So hopefully we can make a deal on it if we can. You'll get to see us out here pretending like we're Paul Bunyan. Yeah, trying to get these <laughs> trees out here. Check this out. The the guy I bought it from was the original owner. Owner's manual here, right? Pretty cool. How about original window sticker? Check this guy out. It's a little tattered, kind of falling apart. Let's see what we got here. Chevrolet from, oh, it's hard to read. Fred Jones Chevrolet in Dahlonega. Final assembly and is made in Dorval. The price looks like $5,400. So that's neat. Window sticker. How about the original invoice where he bought it? So this invoice is from Jerry Brown Chevrolet, so it must have been transferred. You see his trade-in, 73 Mercury. Pretty sweet. Out the door, 67.85. Back in its day. Looks like they gave him $2,700 on his trade-in. Huh. Mercury Montego, okay. Pretty sweet.
nothing more satisfying than pressure washing a car that's been sitting forever. Now I see why people make whole YouTube videos of this. Oh, love it.